legislative affairs and elections. Uh, All right, this is the Committee on Legislative Affairs and Elections. This is Monday, November 27, 2017. We're at 6 p.m. Uh, Councilor Hanlon. Uh, Councilor Napolitano. Here. Uh, Councilor McLaughlin. Present. Uh, Councilor Sani. Here. And I have Councilor DePiro. Present. We have five members present. We do have a quorum. The first piece of business. This is the work study report on an order that was sought by Councilor Michael McLaughlin and Council John Hanlon to create a legislative code for the City Council officers. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I want to uh, take a moment to uh, thank this committee. We, uh, yourself and I, put this forward, but this committee worked diligently on this item. We all really came together as a group, worked in many meetings to uh, carefully create a legislative code, something that I think everybody in the city will be proud of and something that everybody can work with. Um, also want to thank our city clerk, Sergio Canilio, and assistant city clerk, Dave Ragucci, for all of their hard work. and. Uh, due diligence on this item. I think this is something that was needed and I think we did a uh, great job at putting this together and I wanted to thank my fellow colleagues that have worked on this with me. Um, at this point, I have no other, no other statements on it. Thank you. Council uh, Napolitano. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, this is more of an explanation for the public what we mean by administrative code. This is basically a, a structure for the city council identifies where we are in, in, in the pecking order, how the, uh, our, who works with us or works for us, and how their, uh, their job titles are distributed. And this is all this is. Uh, the city has an, has an administrative code for, uh, for all the department heads. Because we're the legislative branch, we're not part of that. We're just creating our own. And that's all this is. And this is just general information for the public's purposes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Council DePiro. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just to reiterate what my colleague said, this is a good code. It's a strong code. It's a good blueprint for how this body should operate. Uh, I just have one amendment to make um, because I left the work session a bit early. Um, my amendment would be to return the legislative aid salary scale back to what the city clerk had initially. I just see it as kind of a reclassification of the position, asking for more but um, giving less of a salary. Um, and the code is in line with the rest of the administ administrative salaries in the building. I think just to be fair, I'd like to return to the original scale that the city clerk had. Second the motion. Motion was? Second. For favorable action. Whose motion? Yep, you're not on, on the committee. Someone else make a motion for favorable action? I can. Okay. Motion made, I don't know who made the motion for favorable action. The motion was oh, for an okay. amendment. Motion made in second favorable action. All in favor, single Aye. action. Mr. Chairman, so for we'll, just for information purposes, can we have that what those, what that range is? If you don't mind, Mr. Chairman, I'll say it. Uh, there's five steps, as you all know. The first one is 49,980, and the fifth step is 58,800. Okay. Council, uh, on the motion. Yes, go ahead. Um, in the meeting, we discussed about uh, cutting it down about 5,000. Um, I believe we went like 44, 45, is that what we discussed? Um, we decided, and I believe a few of my colleagues agreed with, that it's a chart. And if someone has experience, you can bring him in at a higher level. To bring someone in that has no experience at level one, that's a lot of money to the outside sector. To people that work every day out there, Jumping someone at 45000 is a lot of money um, with no experience. So we can, if we have someone that's going to apply for a job or whatever happens down the road, you can start them at level four or level five. I can't agree on changing what we already committed in the, in the meeting, so I'm not in favor of that. Thank you. Sure. I'm sorry, get Count McLaughlin first. I respect my good colleague's opinion, but I don't agree with it. I unfortunately had to leave that meeting also early the, the other evening due to a, a previous commitment. Uh, 
I thought that the salary was discussed the previous meeting before that, and we were going to leave it at the numbers that Council President just stated. And I came back the following day and realized that it had been cut by $5,000. Um, I at no time was in support of uh, decreasing the number by $5,000. Um, and that's why Council, the Pero and I decided that it would be best to keep at the number that we had um, had originally when we all worked on this um, at several meetings. So although I, I, I disagree with Council uh, Sani's statement that we will bring somebody in unexperienced. We're going to bring somebody in that's going to know the job and fulfill the job and we should be able to compensate them fairly for d doing the job that is at hand. And it, it mimics all of the other salaries for clerks throughout our community. So I believe that, that that's the reason why it should not be cut by the $5,000 that is being discussed. Thank you. Councilor Napolitano, please. Thank you. I mean, I, I be honest with you, I mean, I disagree with my colleagues, but I do agree with Council and Sarney. Um, this isn't a clerk position, this is an administrative aid position. There are people in the private sector who manage uh, larger operations than the city council and get paid less than 50000 a year. And I, I, the thing is that what I think what Council Sarney is trying to uh, point out is that we have an experienced person. We don't have to start them off at level one. We can start them off somewhere in the middle. But level one is the minimum. Think of it like minimum wage. And $50,000, okay, 49000 and change is still you know, rounded up fifty thousand is still an awful lot of money to pay someone to to manage to do that type of work. Uh, I've been in the banking world. I've worked with bank uh, managers who have a lot more responsibility who don't make that kind of money. My wife off my wife manages a law firm office. She doesn't make that kind of money. And the thing is that public the difference between public and private sector uh, shouldn't be such a, a disparate difference. Um, and I think that cutting the, cutting the ranges down by 5,000 still represents a reasonable and a, and, a, and a decent wage. Personally, I still think it's high, even with the reduction. But again, I wasn't looking to, to, to create that argument or create that issue or, you know, in trying to come up with, a, with, a, uh, with an amount. Uh, I think we, we had looked at and discussion we came when we decided this in committee was that this was more of a compromise to still at least keep the range at a reasonable rate we have a responsibility to the taxpayers for, for not only uh, what they, you know, for how we spend their money, but, you know, again, given the, the type of job, and there is a lot of responsibility granted, but that's an awful lot of money to pay somebody who in the private sector would probably make about 20 to 25 percent less than that and have more responsibility and more on them. So, I, I mean, I, 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 I do support the, uh, the wage that, we, that was proposed in committee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, once again, my thought process is just being fair with the rest of the building. I understand uh, Council Napolitano's concerns. I just think in, the, in technically reclassifying it, asking for a lot, heck of a lot more um, in job duties. And if we do appoint someone that has no experience uh, for the position when it becomes open, then shame on us uh, is my thought process. And I'm going to call for the question on the amendment, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I would also echo that Councilor Napolitano states that we have a responsibility to the taxpayers in the city. I couldn't agree more with Councilor Napolitano. But we also have a responsibility to our employees that work for the city council and the, in the city council office that we're going to treat them fairly and treat them accordingly and match their salaries with other administrative assistants and, and so forth across the city hall, across this building. We have that responsibility to any employee that we bring in in the future. Um, and that's why I, I strongly will support this this evening. Thank you. Hi. You have a question. You have a question? No, no, I thought you had a question. No, no. Uh, we need to um, first accept the work study uh, report. So I'd like to have a motion that we just accept that. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion made and second to accept the work study report that was sent to this committee. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, so moved that we have accepted the report. Councilor. I would like to move once again to 
um, set the salary scale for legislative aid back to the scale that the city clerk had. Second the motion. Would you want to just uh, say what the figure is? Yes, the first step would be 49,980. No, and the last step would be 58,800. Okay. Second the motion. Okay. Motion was made to uh, refer the uh, steps back to, to that the amount motion. that Council DePero said. Any further discussion? I have a motion by Council DePero. Second, McLaughlin? Yes. Yes, second, McLaughlin. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, um, all in favor? Aye. No. no. All opposed? No. No. One, two, three to two. Can you call? Uh, I think it has to be roll call. Vote. You want a roll call? We need a Can roll we do a roll call vote on it, please, Mr. Chairman? Yeah. Motion made for real roll call vote. All right. Uh, click, please call the roll. All right. Carlton Hillman. Yes. Council Napolitano. No. Council McLaughlin. Yes. Uh, Calzani. No. And Council DePiro. Yes. We have three A's, two nays. Three A's, two nays. You have passed the item. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to refer this uh, with the favorable recommendation to the full body. Second. second. Motion made and second is favor to refer this back to the full body tonight. Next meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? So moved. Item two. All right, item number two. This is a work study report. Ordinance sought by Council Hampton DePiro that section 12A-61 of the revised ordinance of the city of Everett be hereby deleted in its entirety and replaced by certain a newly revised ordinance. Accept the work study report, place on file. Second. Motion made and second to accept the work study report. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? So moved. You have accepted the report. Councilor DePiro, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I was in discussions with the city solicitor on the ordinance, and she still has a few concerns with the constitutionality of the ordinance uh, with the language as it stands. So I'd like to make a motion uh, that the committee recommends this piece get referred back to sponsor with the intent that I will reintroduce it when the session uh, begins again in January. Second motion. Second motion made and second to uh, refer the, uh, to refer this back to sponsor so that it can be initiated next year. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Motion to adjourn. Motion second. made and second to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? We have adjourned. <laughs>